This building was originally built as a brewery in 1897 by what's now Columbia Brewery. When all the small breweries shut down, they regionalized in Creston in the East Kootenays. NBC, the original ownership, opened it up in 1991. And in 2006, they made the decision to become an all-organic brewery. We here at the Nelson Brewing Company have a tasting room license, which means we can't sell full pints, but we can sell tasters and flights and do growler fills. The Nelson Brewing Company is uh, a bit older than some of the other breweries in town here, so we've got pretty good distribution across the province, and we do a lot of packaged product. So most of our beer is in the can and available across the province, as well as Alberta and Saskatchewan. Craft beer culture is probably the one of the most appealing things about working at a brewery. It's such a supportive, uh, community and scene, especially amongst brewers who are willing to share ideas, techniques and talk. When anyone comes up here, we always recommend they go try the other breweries and vice versa. A lot of people come up here who've been recommended by another brewery to come check us out. So it's a pretty collaborative environment. Uh, it's a good feeling. It's nice that we can work together as small breweries. The big issue isn't us people drinking at other small breweries, it's you know trying to get people to drink at small breweries, meaning that if anyone's drinking at any local brewery, it's a win for any craft brewery. So that's the whole spirit of community and collaboration. Before Torchlight Brewing existed, we were of course known for having a craft brewery in Nelson, which was pretty unique. But as the boom exploded, Torchlight uh, led the charge on making Nelson a craft brewery tourism destination. Torchlight is actually two different businesses. On the one hand, we have a brew pub with a full kitchen and 20 beer taps. On the other hand, we have a full-scale production brewery that sends packaged beer across all corners of BC. We are obsessed with variety. We're ever innovating. We have 52 different kinds of beer and we try and release a new one every month. Uh, we also are one of the only breweries in BC to produce sodas. Our chef, Robin, has created a unique and interesting uh, menu to pair with all of our beers and a lot of the ingredients that go into our menu items are either spent grain from our mash or even uh, our different varieties of beers to make things like ice cream, pretzels. One of the best parts about being a craft brewery in Nelson is the teamwork. Uh, we've had nothing but support from Nelson Brewing Company and Backroads Brewing Company and we try to give them the same support they show us. It's easy to share ingredients or ideas or even collaborate on beers or even beer events. So uh, one of the things we bring in a lot of now, especially with the other breweries that have cropped up after us, is a tourist destination for people to come and try different beers and visit all the breweries while they stay here in beautiful Nelson, BC. So our location is right in the center of downtown. We're uh, between Ward and Stanley Streets. Um, so we really are able to capture a lot of um, walk by traffic. You, know, you can just be strolling down Baker Street doing your, your regular round and oh yeah there's a brewery here and pop in for, for a quick glass or a growler fill or whatever it is uh, and carry on your normal day of you know shopping downtown. We are a taproom focused lounge so our goal is to really drive as much of our beer sales through our own beer tap. We really want people to come here into the brewery and experience uh, not only the beer, but the atmosphere we've created. That's just sort of naturally started to expand into allowing people to bring in food from wherever they want. And you know, you'll get a table of 15 or 20 people and they'll be bringing in casserole dishes full of whatever they feel like eating that night. And it's super awesome to see it happen. We have a brewer uh, with 25 years of experience at a few different breweries in BC. Um, and he uh, is just really renowned for making very traditional style ales uh, and lagers. So he really tries to adhere to, you know, what the beer is supposed to be. And we think that works well for us. You know, we're all kind of starting to carve out our little corner of, of the beer population. Um, but it's great because now people can walk around and they can see the different things that places are doing and really get to get into it, right? It's a lot more than just, you know, a glass of cold, fizzy beer, um, like it might have been 15 or 20 years ago now. There's a lot more subtlety and nuance, and, um, and there's a lot of great beer styles that people can experiment with. There's hundreds and hundreds of styles of beer out there, and so now we're getting more chance to expose people to different ideas of what beer can be.